Hey, Erica. Yeah? When's dinner? Another day at home. I wish I could just get away to the Caribbean, maybe the Dominican Republic, or maybe St. John, U.S. Virgin Islands, or maybe Tortola in the British Virgin Islands, but on a cruise where I can smell the salt in the air. While eating all the ice cream. Hey y'all, we are on a seven day cruise on the Norwegian breakaway. So excited. We get to stop in the Dominican Republic, in um, St. Thomas, in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Portola in the British Virgin Islands, and then Great Stirrup K, which is Norwegian's uh, private island in the Bahamas. On all the cruises we've been on, we tend to buy the tourist excursions and activities from the cruise line. However, on this cruise, we plan to get all tourism activities on our own, and you know we'll see where that takes us. So the plan is to find advertised excursions through the cruise line, do something similar on our own, and then see how much we can save. At the end, we're going to give you a breakdown of the cost savings, the convenience, and then the overall experience of that excursion. Our first stop is Amber Cove in the Dominican Republic, so let's go, have fun, and hopefully you know, get those savings. But first, we had to visit the ice cream machine. It's our cruise tradition. We were on the breakaway in 2015 for a five-day cruise where we sailed from New York to Bermuda. It was a full circle moment to see our favorite cruise director, JC Sanchez, bringing his flair to the ship's entertainment. We stayed in a balcony room that had a queen bed and bunk beds for the kids. Nothing beats waking up in the morning, opening the balcony doors, and hearing the gentle roar of the ocean. Our room steward, Francis, did an incredible job making us feel at home. The room was well laid out and even the bathroom had ample storage. You got a mind, but even that could change. You could flip the gray matter like some batter in your brain. That's why to say, fake it till you make it, eh? And if you play that game, then you just might make a change. Rearrange all the... On the first day, we registered the kids at the Splash Academy, which is Norwegian's kids club for 5 through 12 year olds. Due to an unusually large number of kids sailing, virtual queues via the NCL app were required. The virtual queues, which were on a first come first serve basis, opened at 6 a.m. each morning. Setting my alarm clock for 6 a.m. was something I did not bargain for while on vacation. But Tommy and Keela enjoyed the kids club so much that the virtual queue fiasco was definitely worth it. Norwegian shines at their freestyle dining, where you can dine when and where you want, with no fixed dining times or pre My name is Yami The Garden Cafe, which is their all-day buffet, has themed dinner nights such as Oriental, Surf and Turf, Country Western, etc., which gave us something to look forward to. If you wanted seated dining experience, their complimentary restaurants have no charges. Specialty restaurants incur nominal charges. We'll cover our specialty dining experience separately. So we just arrived at Amber Cove in the Dominican Republic. 
the ship changed ports on us and towards the last days of the cruise we were supposed to end up at Puerto Plata in DR but now we're at Amber Cove and we made completely no plans for DR so we're just gonna wing it kids are still sleeping I'm sure you can see him yeah but here we are so we're just gonna wing it see how the day goes and hope we have fun We scoped out all of our options. All right, so what's the conversation about? What are we doing? I think Tommy has a good idea. He's saying the Puerto City and Beach. A little bit of city, a little bit of beach. It's only $35, but I've also seen Sousa Beach is good, so why are you so close to my face? <laughs> so, which one do you think? I don't know, we just uh... Ask the kids, which one do you think? Yeah. City Beach. City and Beach? Yeah. Why that one? Because we can get both. We can go to the beach and we get a shop. I just want to go, I just want to go to a beach. Yeah. And the city. Something else, Archie Jack Tenerife. Hey, good afternoon. Guys. Hi, what's up? How much? If you want to go to the ocean, ocean world, ocean. love you, baby. Love you, love you. Seventy-five dollars for adults, and if you have kids under twelve, it's um, eighty sixty-five dollars, and it's okay. just fifteen minutes away. The meal and the drinks are included. It's just like going to Sea World here in the Dominican Republic. We eventually settled on replicating the Discover Puerto Plata tour that Norwegian offered. It was a combination of a tour of the city and time at the beach. We have found that taxi drivers are generally very accommodating and willing to become unofficial tour guides. We asked our driver Sunday if he could take us to the city before heading to the beach and he was happy to do so. Okay, my name is Sunday, the night of the weekend. <laughs> we think you drink every day. Oh man, <laughs> guys are dangerous. Yeah. <clears throat> Look at the other one. Oh wow. This is the Amber. Oh, okay. Amber Museum, La Amber de Larimar. Oh wow, that is yellow. As you see, Sunday has his sleek sails roll down as he showed us local precious stones used in jewelry making. Also, despite calling the locations we would visit factories, they ended up being more like shops. In, in the Puerto Plata, we have the Siga factory, chocolate factory, Larimai factory, Rome factory, the two room factory, Brugal factory and Macori factory. Yes. Our time in the city of Puerto Plata helped us gain insight into the local history and lifestyle of the area through a diversity of attractions. We found that some tourism experiences in the Dominican Republic were quite westernized. It begs the question if Caribbean islands are losing a bit of their cultural identity as they cater to foreign tourists. Amazing for you. Oh, okay. Hola, senor. How are you? Good morning. Very good, and you? Good, baby. Have a This is the, oh, I don't smoke cigars. I'm just going to look. No problem. I'm yeah. going to give you the speech. No problem. Oh, I see. Okay. Look, you can see he take a little bit from here, a little bit from there. He push. How long does it take to dry the leaves? Well, depend what kind, depend what kind of the leaf, oh. depend what kind. But the time oh. for the normal tobacco leaf is around eight months for get dry. Oh. Mm -hmm. But after that long, after that long, I start the processing. I start the processing. You see, you see, that's the la the last step, the wrapper. Mm. And to keep it wet, is that done naturally or you... Is it 100% naturally. Natural, wow. You 
you can see it a little bit from here. This is natural glue. Mm. This is resin coming from the tree. Depend in the big size he can make 300 per day. Skin, skinny size he made around 600. Just Next up was the Larimar and Amber shop. Going to Larimar, Larimar. beautiful store. It's gorgeous. That one was uh, discovered in 1974 oh, wow. south of the island. And they call Larimar because the man who discovered this town, he had one data. His data is like this. So when he find the stone, he put Lari and Mar is the color of the sea. So he meets the two names. That's why they call Lari Mar. It's a very hard stone. And also I got the ember too. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it's tree sap. It's hard to find that type of ember. So this one catch the heat. So that's why they come blue like that. We then went to the chocolate factory, which was down Dominican Republic's version of the Umbrella Street. We got to sample hot chocolate made with cacao. And let's just say the kids prefer a sweeter version. Most Latin American cities are built around a central plaza with a church and rectangle courtyard. Puerto Plata's church is the Cathedral of St. Felipe. The plaza was lively with local entertainment. How do you like it? Yeah, it's very messy, but really good. They call organic. This is exactly it's messy because well, not mine said that, but it's really good. Okay. Several times in the city, we saw large tour groups from the ship. We were happy we got to set our own pace. <laughs> the rest of our time was spent at the Playa Dorada beach where we cooled off in the crystal clear blue waters. We savored as much time as we could at the beach before needing to be back to the ship by four. We're back to our ship, our room, after a great day in Dominican Republic. Yes. I am really, really glad that we decided to wing it and not do one of the ship's excursions, as you can hear, we're about to um, take off. But um, we just decided to wing it and found a taxi that um, gave us a nice tour downtown. Um, we went to a few places. We went to the cigar factory, we went to a store where they had local jewelry made with amber and uh, other local precious stones. And we also went to a beach. Yeah, the beach was really nice. Um, we had, all in all, we had uh, transportation, lunch, ice cream, pina coladas. We had it all in uh, under $150. Oh, yeah, $150. And that included um, our tip and everything. Where if we would have gone on the ship's excursion, it would have been over $250 just for transportation, the tour, not food. So. Um, it was a great day and we saved some money doing yeah, everything. Yeah, definitely if you plan well, you know, research the island you're headed to or your location, compare the uh, prices of uh, the excursions on the boat and also what you can do locally. Most likely you can get a better deal locally if you do it on your own. So yeah, that's our tip to you, know, you from this trip. That's it for this video. 
like, share, subscribe, and be on the lookout for our next video where we'll go over our adventures in St. John, Tortola, and Nassau.